A chase between two cars ends with an out-of-control driver crashing right into a little girl and her grandmother. All I see, it was the, the grandmother of the girl flying this way and the little girl flying the other way. Tonight, the man who raced to rescue them. So I just grabbed and started running to the ER. And the argument that sparked it all. Police say the driver was speeding after a man in a pickup truck trying to run him off the road. Louisa Moeller is live in Worcester tonight. And Louisa, police say, as David mentioned a second ago, this started with an argument. Well, that's right, Lisa Dava, David, and we've just learned that the driver of that pickup truck was actually trying to go to the police department in an attempt to escape his ex-girlfriend when the crash happened right behind me. One good Samaritan telling me he hopes his quick action saved that little girl's life. I never see that situation like that with a little girl flying and she got the head white almost wide spread open or block coming down. Teo Rivera chokes up describing what he saw when police say this Ford Explorer careened into a five-year-old little girl and her grandmother outside St. Vincent Hospital in Worcester. And I look, all I see it was the, the grandmother of the girl flying this way and the little girl flying the other way. The Dunkin' Donuts worker says he rushed to help the child who lay motionless and silent. I just grabbed her and started running to the ER and I was on the way, told her like, Mamita, everything's gonna be good, you good? And, but she don't say nothing and then all of a sudden she started crying. So that's when I kind of like get relieved that she was okay. Traffic recon, yeah, we have a uh, couple pedestrians. Uh, injured pretty bad down here by St. Peter's. Just before 2 Wednesday, the man driving this Chevy truck called 911 to say his ex-girlfriend was recklessly driving after him in her Ford Explorer. Then police say the 33-year-old woman hit the truck, losing control and striking the girl and her grandmother along Major Taylor Boulevard. I jumped out of the way into the road because I figured she was coming my way. Cell phone video taken right after the accident shows an elderly woman on a stretcher and another woman sitting by the Explorer. An emotional experience that Rivera hopes will have a happy outcome. I got kids too and, you know, it really broke my heart. Now, the driver of that Ford was arrested and charged with domestic assault and battery and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. That would be her car. Among other charges, she's expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Live in Worcester, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.